acids and bases. Using this theory, you should be able to write weak acid slash base dissociation equations and identify acid, base, conjugate acid, and conjugate base. A conjugate acid base pair is a pair of compounds that differ by the presence of one H plus unit. This idea is critical when it comes to understanding buffer systems, something we'll cover in chapter 15. L understand this. When we're talking about a conjugate acid base pair, we don't mean that both of the both of them are conjugate acid and base. One is an acid, which creates a conjugate base. One is a base, which creates a conjugate acid. And we'll talk about that in this video. Remember, acids donate a proton. Bases accept a proton. Okay, using this video, we can see three different types of acid reactions. We're going to have a neutral one, and then a cation one, and then an anion one. HNO3 plus is going to be our neutral acid. It's going to react with H2O to form H3O plus and NO3 minus. So notice here we have HNO3 as our acid and the result of losing an H plus or a proton results in NO3 minus which is the conjugate base of that acid Since HNO3 is our acid, H2O has to be our base. And so it will form its conjugate acid, H3O+, plus, by gaining. And this is considered a neutral reaction. Or a neutral acid, I should say. Next, we'll write an acid which has a positive charge, something like NH4+, something that has to give away a hydrogen. So NH4+, plus, plus H2O, yields H3O+, plus, plus NH3. So notice the NH4+, plus has given up a hydrogen to water to form H3O+. Plus. Now, what you've got to also understand is that these are equilibrium reactions. They move left to right and right to left. So reading left to right, NH3 is our conjugate base and NH4 is our conjugate acid. I mean, I'm sorry, just our acid. But if we read right to left, then NH3 could very well be our base and NH4 plus could be our conjugate acid. So it doesn't matter which way you read. You have to keep in mind that both sides could be conjugate acid or bases based on how you read it. And this is a reaction that goes back and forth. So this is a cation acid, a positive charged acid. Last, we'll do an anion, something like H2PO4 minus 1, something that can give up another proton to H2O. So notice it gives up its hydrogen and becomes HPO4, 2 minus. So again, we have our acid to our conjugate base. Notice while I'm writing this that the total charge on the left side is the same as the total charge on the right side. There's a negative 1 total on the left, and there's a positive 1 and negative 2 on the right, and it makes a total of negative 1. So um, the an this is an, um, that is a rule for every single react um, equation you write. You need to have a total charge the same side, uh, the same on both sides. Notice the production of H3O plus. I think it cuts off, but H3O plus is ex proof of it being an acid. Oh, never mind. It, sh it showed all the way through. So notice the formation of H3O plus. That's called the hydronium ion, and it is proof that we have an acid. Okay, another note, H3O plus is simply just H plus in water. So these things are synonymous. We'll say H plus sometimes, we'll see H3O plus sometimes. 
They're synonymous. Okay. Next, we'll show some bases, some base equations. We'll do a neutral one, and then we'll do um, an anion one. So NH3, our very popular weak base. Make sure you get familiar with it because it almost always shows up when they talk about weak bases. So NH3 is, be, is your base. H2O, in this case, is going to be your acid. So therefore, H2O is going to donate an H to NH3. And remember, it's a donating an H+. Plus, so it becomes NH4+, plus, which is the conjugate acid. I'm abbreviating now because I think y'all get the point. And the acid forms the conjugate base, which is OH-. minus. So this is a neutral reaction. Neutral base, I should say, not a reaction. Okay, we're going to do one with CO3 2 minus, another um, common base, plus water, yields. Water is going to give an H to the CO3, so it becomes only a negative 1, plus OH minus. So notice the charges still all stay the same. And H2O is our acid again, CO3 2 minus is our base. And then OH is our conjugate base, and HCO3 is our conjugate acid. So notice the only a difference of an H plus separates. If you want, you can always think of a base. Um, when it forms a conjugate acid, it gains an H plus. An acid, when you form a conjugate base, it loses an H plus. Okay, I'm going to make a note here. I'm going to switch to green. And note that, again, if you notice uh, the product this time, it's OH minus. So the production of OH minus proves that it is a basic solution, or it involves a base. And OH minus is known as hydroxide ion. You all should be pretty familiar with that by now. Hydronium is a little bit newer terminology. H3O plus is hydronium. Okay, acids only donate one proton at a time. It's very important that you understand that. Even the ones that have more than one hydrogen at the beginning, they can only donate one at a time. You cannot do two or three at one time. Some terms you need to know. Monoprotic means an acid donating only one hydrogen. It only has one available hydrogen to donate. We'll focus mainly on these, but when I get back, we'll talk about a couple of polyprotic ones. Diprotic means acids donating two hydrogens, something like H2C2O4, you can donate both of those hydrogens. Polyprotic means many H pluses. Something like H3PO4 can donate three hydrogens, one at a time. Polyprotic bases accept more than one hydrogen. So they are usually anions with negative two or negative three charge because you're trying to get to neutral. So something like PO4 three minus or HPO4 two minus. Amphiprotic or amphoteric. I usually use the term amphoteric, um, but be familiar with both terms. They mean the same thing. Molecules are ions that can behave as either acids or bases. Water, anions of weak acids. Um, remember when we do, were writing the reactions, water could be a base or it could be an acid. And so make sure if, you, if it can either be an acid or base, if it can accept a hydrogen or lose a hydrogen and still... Um, be a substance, a possible substance, it is amphoteric. Okay, exercise two. Um, the answers are on here. This is just some practicing writing dissociation reactions, so you, you're going to omit the water in these cases to make it a little simpler. And so you're just simply dissociating these acids, separating an H plus away, and seeing what you have left. So for A, B, C, D, and E. These are your answers. This is what you should come up with. You're not going to see something like E or even D probably come up that often on this exam. Um, e is a hydrate. We haven't especially talked about those so much, um, but they're starting to try to eliminate those more complex ions in the AP exam anyways.